You know, I uh, I PR'd in both the, the two mile and the mile, which I'm very ecstatic about, and it's great. You know, last year I didn't dream of um, going to state. My times just weren't good enough, and I didn't have it in me. But uh, the hard work I've put in, it's it's a great feeling knowing that it's all paid off now. So. Uh, talk about that mile. There was a, a pretty crowded field there, lots of runners in it, but you were able to, to kind of pull away there and, uh, and distance yourself from everybody else. You know, I had my race plan, and uh, I executed it very nicely. I've uh, been working on that plan all all season, and so I'm very happy that uh, my plan worked out and I came out on top. So uh, You're going to Des Moines. Uh, you get to run on the Blue Oval. What are your goals when you get, uh, get up to Des Moines? Yeah, I, I plan to PR in both. Uh, get top 10 in each event, and uh, so those are my goals for that. All right, Logan, congratulations. Thank you. Um, it was nice to get it in the last second. Uh, we kind of celebrated with a bunch of people at the end, so that was nice. Uh, talk about the conditions to jump in today. Uh, I know there was a little bit of rain before the meet, and only three people got over the opening height, so was it, was it slick, or what was going on out there? Well, yeah, the last guy jumper, um, for his last two jumps, he almost fell over, so it was kind of scary to get up there. But the sun came out right before we jumped, and um, it was nice. I had high jump shoes on, so I knew I was ready. Uh, getting over five foot, is that something that uh, you've kind of had your eye on all year? I know you've been close, you've been to 410, but is that is that five foot mark been something that you've kind of had your eye on uh, going into this meet? Oh yeah, for a couple of years. Um, Pretty much every meet this season, I go five foot. This is the day. So it was really nice to finally get it in. Uh, you're going up to Des Moines now uh, for the state meet. So what are your goals once you get up there? Uh, well, last year I was the first person out for high jump, so I hope I can make it a little longer and maybe even set a new PR again. That'd be fun. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I was extremely angry uh, to, to say the less. Uh, no, but I was ready. Coach said just use, the, use that fire that we had, uh, use the same intensity that we started out with. So that's you know what Michael and I tried to do. Uh, you know, and, and once you uh, come back out there for that second time and you hand the baton off again, uh, uh, what was it like seeing the rest of your teammates take it the rest of the way for you? Oh, I was excited. Uh, Michael just took off with the same intensity he had to begin with and uh, caught the guy at the end. And then I was excited to see Taylor run because, you know, he didn't run the first time. And then I was excited to see Jacob run, who held his own at the end, and it was pretty exciting. All right, we'll move over here to, uh, to Michael Cisneros. Michael, you also got to run uh, twice for this race. Uh, what was your feelings after, uh, after the, seeing that uh, first time get uh, stopped? Oh, I was a little upset, but you just had to have the right mindset. And coach was telling us, uh, hey, it's how bad you want it. And you just got to stay fired up and stay loose and just, just let your emotions take over. Uh, what's it mean for you to, uh, to get to run on the Blue Oval in Des Moines? Oh, it feels really good in my senior year there, running on the Blue Oval. It feels really good. I'm going to move over here now to, uh, to Taylor. And Taylor, you only got to run this once, but uh, what, was the, uh, what was the feeling when uh, you saw Michael coming down that front stretch and then, you know, I don't know if the handoff got to you or not, but they stopped the race. What was that feeling? Oh, it, was, it was really weird. I didn't even know they could stop a relay in the middle of it. But um, afterwards, we were, I just got even more pumped up, and I was just ready to run. Uh, what'd you do in that break? There was uh, there was about ten minutes between the two races. What'd you do to uh, to kind of get yourself mentally ready again? Well, we just we just talked to our coaches and our teammates, and they all gave us the confidence to do what we did. All right, we'll move over here now to Jacob. Jacob, you uh, you ran a pretty good anchor leg there. Held uh, held off Woodward Academy, uh, a pretty good anchor leg from Terrence Lewis. Uh, could you feel him uh, coming up behind you there towards the end? Oh yeah, I could definitely feel him. I mean, coming into this, we were second, and I just knew that I wanted to get that first place so we could go to state for sure, and that's what we did. Uh, what are your goals for this relay when you guys get up to Des Moines? Oh, I just want to break a PR. I mean, oh, 132 is good, but I want all of us to get better times. I mean, that's the goal. It's just personal records. All right, guys, congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was kind of scared about the weather, but it actually turned out really nice. And um, I knew like the seating coming in and stuff, but you know, you got to do it on the day of and I guess I brought it. So uh, let's talk about that four by one. You just got off the track with that. That was a pretty dominant run. This is a four by one team that's been down in the in the low 50s. Uh, that uh, that four by one team's really come together nicely. Yes, um, after last year when we lost two seniors, uh, we have gained uh, two tremendously well, like well-rounded athletes. And uh, we've just been working on our handoffs, trying to get it perfectly down. And uh, me and Clarissa kind of missed today, but uh, we got to get that down before state. But that's what we do in practice every day. We get our handoffs, go to our exchange zones, and 
make them perfect. So uh, overall, uh, how do you feel about all your times today? Or about where you wanted them to be? You think you can go a little bit lower? Um, I PR'd in my 100, and we PR'd in the 4x2 by, by like almost a full second. So our times were really well tonight, and I hope I don't know what we got in the 4x1, but my 200 uh, was it was good run, but it wasn't my best. So uh, what do you want to work on before you get up to Des Moines? Um, my starts need a little more. I uh, need to power out a little more, and uh, our handoffs. All right, congratulations, Jadra. Thank you.